Hi, my name is Teresa, and this is Avery. This is my daughter, Avery. She's six years old, and we are going to read Clifford Takes a Walk. Clifford Takes a Walk. We like Clifford books, don't we? Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. All right. Clifford Takes a Walk by Norman Bridwell. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Let me show the picture. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. And these are some of my classmates. We're waiting for it to be safe to cross the street so we can start our school day. Our teacher, Ms. Tate, has a treat for us today. This is Miss Pate from Safe Kids, Miss Tate tells us. She knows everything about road safety. We are going on a field trip with a surprise ending. On our way, Miss Patel is going to help us practice the rules of being a safe walker. That's good. That is good. Because you know, you gotta know how to cross the street. Yeah, you've gotta be safe when you cross the street. Uh-huh. Everyone is excited especially Clifford. <laughs> Ms. Patel goes over the safe walking tips with us before we leave. How to be a safe walker. Number one, when crossing the street, it's always a must to walk along with an adult you trust. Number two, look left, right, left, and meet the driver's eye to make sure you're noticed before you cross by. Number three, I it's didn't know that. yeah. Number three, it's best not to cross in the middle of the block. So go to the corner and use the crosswalk. Number four, it's up to you to make the right call. Don't dart in the street to chase that ball. Number five, wherever you walk, it's important that you look for cars that are turning and backing up too. I didn't even know that you had to look the driver's eye when you, you didn't know that no i'm glad we're reading this me too you learn a lot uh-huh a lot miss tate tells us to find a walking partner i choose clifford then she tells us we have to make a few stops on the way to help with our surprise i can't wait to find out what it is i wonder what their surprise is gonna be What's the number one rule of being a safe walker, Ms. Patel asks us before we leave. We all know this one. When crossing the street, it's always a must to walk along with an adult you trust. trust. We are walking on the sidewalk when Clifford sees his friend Buster across the street. He is so happy that he runs into the road to say hi. Clifford, I call out. It's not safe to run out into the road. See him running right out into the street? Yep. Oh, no. Oh, there's a car. And there's too. a car coming. There's a car right there, too. Yes. There's two cars. That's right. That's right, Miss Patel says as Clifford comes back. Does anyone remember the next rule? I do. Look left, right, left, and meet the driver's eye to make sure you're noticed before you cross by. Ms. Patel says, I did a great job. Our first stop is the grocery store. The clerk hands Miss Tate a bag. I wonder what is in the bag. Is everyone ready to go? Ms. Patel asks the class. Yes, we say. Clifford is so excited, he keeps wagging his tail back and forth. But when we come to a street corner, we all stop. Even Clifford. Who remembers what rule we are following, Ms. Patel asks. My friend Sam raises his hand. Me. It's best not to cross in the middle of the block. Go to the corner and use the crosswalk. Crosswalk. That's a good rule. Yes. You can only, I, 
I think you should only cross cross the road if you actually have to. Yeah, and you got to do it safely, huh? Uh-huh. This is our next stop, Miss Tate announces as we come to the sports store down the block. I wonder what she needs to get here, I whisper to Clifford. He sniffs the ground for clues. Mm -hmm. The store clerk hands Miss Tate two shopping bags. She gives one bag to Nate and one bag to Rosa to carry. Don't look inside the bags, Miss Tate says. You don't want to ruin your surprise. Yes, if I was them, if I were you, I wouldn't ruin the surprise. That's right. Mm -hmm. Just then, Nate accidentally drops his bag. A yellow rubber ball rolls out and into the street. Clifford wants to play with the ball. So he runs after it. Oh, no. Clifford, no, I cry. Remember the rule. It's up to you to make the right call. Don't dart in the street to chase that ball. Great job, Emily Elizabeth, Mrs. Patel says. Look at him. He's trying to cross the street to get the ball. Mm -hmm. That's against the rules. That's not safe. Yeah. Our last stop is across the street at the pet store. Who knows what to do at a corner without a traffic light, Ms. Patel asks. But before anyone can answer, Clifford smells something and puts out a paw to cross the street. Clifford, stay here, we yell. Wherever you walk, it's important that you look for cars that are turning and backing up too. That's right, Ms. Patel says, after Clifford is back on the sidewalk. Oh Yeah, Clifford's having a hard time remembering the rules, huh? Yeah. He needs a little bit of reminders. Uh-huh. At the pet store, the clerk hands Ms. Tate one last bag. Are we going to find out what the surprise is now, I ask? Very soon, she says. After a few minutes, we reach another corner. There is a lot of traffic, but no traffic light. We wait and wait for the cars to stop. Miss Patel, when will those cars stop so we can cross the street for our surprise? Gabriel asks. Good question. Oh, no. <laughs> Suddenly, Clifford notices something in the grass and starts sniffing. Of it's course, Miss, says Miss Tate. There is supposed to be a stop sign here. It must have fallen over. Uh-huh. You see it right there? Yeah, it did. It fell over. Mm -hmm. Clifford noticed it. That's good. He's a good boy. A girl. Stop signs are big and red, said Ms. Patel. They act like a red light. Drivers know they have to stop when they see one. But without the stop sign, how will the cars know to stop? Yes. That's not good, is it? Mm-mm. Just then, Clifford picks up the stop sign with his mouth and walks over to the corner. Great idea, Clifford, said Mrs. Patel. Now that big red Clifford is holding the big red stop sign and the drivers know exactly what to do. The driver of the delivery truck stops and everyone can safely cross the street. Clifford saved the day. There's the stop sign in its mouth. Look at this mouth. He's yes. chewing on it. He's like, ah. Yes. I'm going to show this. Oh, no, no, no. Welcome to your surprise picnic lunch in the park, Miss Tate says. You are now all super safe walkers, especially Clifford, Miss Patel says. We eat lunch and play with the toys from the sports store. There's even a yummy treat for Clifford. This is the best surprise field trip ever. Look, they made it Aww. safely to the park for their picnic. There's, that must be the special treat right there. Yeah, a treat is the picnic at a park with sports balls and toys. And that's a bone. It must be yes. the bones. All right. Thanks for listening to our story with us. Everybody have a good day. Bye. You want to say bye? Bye.